सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन ऑन मिक्सिंग एंड एजुटेशन वे प्रिसाइसली वी विल डाइव इन टू द टॉपिक ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ एजुटेटर वेर वी विल लुक एट एक्शल फ्लो इम्पेलर रेडियल फ्लो इम्पेलर प्रोपेलर टर्माइन एंड फ्यू अदर टाइप्स ऑफ एजुटेटर सो नाउ लेट्स बिग इन आर डिस्कशन विद वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एजुटेटर एजुटेटर्स आर यूजली लाइक मिक्सर्स and we sometimes call them impellers they are like a beater in a mixer or a blender the classification of agitator based on the direction of the swirling current is done into two which is axial flow and radial flow and the impellers following this type of pattern are known as axial flow impeller and radial flow impeller the axial flow impeller generates current in the direction parallel to the axis of the impeller shaft and for the case of radial flow impeller it generates current in radial or tangential direction as in simple words axial flow moves liquid in a straight line like a pipe while for the radial flow it moves in outward direction like a spinning wheel the examples for radial flow and axial flow are imagine that you are stirring a cup of tea with a spoon if you stir it by moving the spoon up and down then that's a axial flow and if you swirl the tea around in a cup then it's like a radial flow i hope this axial flow impeller and radial flow impeller flow patterns are clear to you you can also see the flow pattern on the video played on the screen now nextly we can also classify the agitator based on the liquid we are handling means the classification would be based on how thick the liquid is Firstly, it is classified as low to moderate viscosity liquids. Means the impeller used for low to moderate viscosity liquids. Another is for highly viscous liquids. Now we will individually discuss few of the type of agitators which are worldwide used. From which the first type of agitator is propeller. For understanding the propeller, think of the propeller like the ones on the boats. But here. we should consider the same type of visualization but for a tank a propeller agitator is a device which is used to mix liquid and for especially those with low thickness it works by spinning small propellers very quickly like at around 1150 to 750 rotations per minute which is for smaller ones and for larger ones the rpm would be of around 400 to 800 The propeller usually spins in a way that pushes the liquid downward and the swirling flow of this liquid they create continues until it hits the bottom of the container as this swirling liquid moves along it pulls the stagnant liquid around it the blades of the propeller also chop up or shear the liquid into small pieces these propeller agitators are really effective in very large container because of the swirling flow created persists for a longer period of time when a propeller spins it traces a helix like a spiral in the liquid if there was no sliding or slipping between the liquid and the propeller one full spin would move the liquid a fixed distance depending on how the propeller blades are angled the fixed distance is called the pitch of the propeller if a propeller has a pitch of 1 it is said to have a square pitch usually we find standard three blade marine propellers with square pitches in most cases sometimes for a special purposes people uses four bladed propellers then two thread propellers or the propellers of other designs regardless of how big the container is propellers used in this way are usually not larger than 18 inch in diameter in really deep tanks you might see two or more propellers on the same shaft and they usually push the liquid in the same direction so in simple terms propeller agitator are like a spinning blade that mix the liquid in big container by creating swirling current that move the liquid around and chop it up they work very well for large containers and the design of the blades and the design of the blades can vary depending on what you are trying to accomplish so guys this was a brief about propellers one of the type of agitator now next comes a famous type of agitator that is turbines 
Here in the case of turbine, we will understand the turbine type agitator by classifying it into four types, from which the first is the simple straight blade turbine, which is also popularly known as pedals. This type of impeller has a straight blade and mainly pushes the liquid outwards in a radial and a tangential direction without much vertical movements. The currents it creates move towards the wall of the container and can then flow either upward or downwards. Here think of it like a paddle wheel turning slowly in a process vessel, typically at a speed ranging from 20 to 150 rpm. Now next type of turbine is a disc turbine. The disc turbine features multiple straight blades mounted on a horizontal disc. It's known for creating an area with a higher shear rate. It's particularly useful for mixing gases into a liquid because at moderate speed, the gases is forced to move radially towards the tip of the blades. Here the high shear force helps disperse the gas into the tiny bubbles for efficient mixing. We can imagine a spinning disc with blades cutting through the liquid and making it great for the task like dissolving gas into the liquid. After disc turbine comes the concave blade CD6 disc turbine. Similar to the disc turbine, the CD6 version has blade mounted on the horizontal disc. It's also commonly used for dispersing gas in a liquid, making it efficient for mixing application. The next type of turbine is a pitch blade turbine. The pitch blade turbine is chosen when you need good overall circulation, not just radial flow. It provides combination of both axial and radial flow. Axial means up and down flow and radial means outward flow. For instance, think of the propeller with slightly tilted blades, which helps create a mix of flow direction for throughout mixing in various applications. So in summary for turbines, this different type of turbine impellers are like specialized tool for mixing liquid in various ways. Some pushes the liquid outwards, some create higher shear for gas dispersion and other offers a mixture of axial and radial flow for good overall circulation and it depends on the specific needs of the process or application. Now particularly for this video, we will be looking at the last type of agitator which is commonly used is high efficiency impellers. So high efficiency impeller are used to improve mixing efficiency and reduce power requirements for a given flow rate. Variations of pitch blade turbine have been developed. One of the example of high efficiency impeller is the HE3 impeller which has three slanted blades which are designed to decrease the blade angle near the tip. This design ensures more uniform axial flow and better mixing. And another example for high efficiency impeller is A310 fluid foil impeller which uses air foil shaped blades that taper making them narrow at the tip than at their base. These high efficiency impeller are commonly used for mixing low or moderate viscous liquids. However, they are not suitable for very thick liquid or for dispersing gases. So when dealing with high viscous liquids, specific impellers are employed, from which the first is the helical ribbon impeller. This type of impeller are used for viscosities about 20 pascal second and have even been used successfully with viscosity as high as 25,000 pascal second. The diameter of this helix closely matches the inner diameter of the tank. The next type of impeller used for high viscous liquid is anchor impeller. Anchor impeller are designed to provide a good agitation near the bottom of the tank. They don't create much vertical movement but are excellent at promoting heat transfer. Sometimes even scrappers are added to physically remove the liquid from the tank's wall. So for the summary of high efficiency impeller, high efficiency impeller are designed to improve mixing efficiency, while the impeller for high viscous liquids are specialized tool for handling thick liquids. They even serve specific purposes in an industrial mixing application, which ensures efficient and effective mixing depending on the properties of the liquid being processed. So guys, this was all about types of agitator where we discussed about a wide range of agitators where we include axial flow impeller, radial flow impeller, propellers, then in turbines, 
we discuss about simple straight blade turbine disc turbine concave blade cd6 disc blade turbine pitch blade turbine then in high efficiency impeller we discussed about he3 a310 fluid foil impeller then helix ribbon impeller anchor impeller so guys that's all for this video and guys if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety and as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video